Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. I have not vlogged in a minute. Reasons I have disappeared off the face of the earth. One, my mental health has been in the garbage. And two, I have been facing the worst technical difficulties I have ever faced in my life. The technical difficulties are getting sorted out. As for my mental health, that's still kind of questionable. It's better, like I can get in front of a camera and talk, but still, like it's not good, you know what I mean? That's actually kind of the topic of today's vlog is very forceful self-care. I don't want to do it, but I have to. I have a lot of things coming up this week that I don't want to do, but I need to do to take care of myself. Stuff like doctor's appointments and stuff. So that's the essence of what's going on this week. Right now I'm sitting in the parking lot of the mall because I really need candles and Bath and Body Works has the good ones and they're on sale right now and I forgot that I am here on a Sunday evening and fucking everybody and their mother is at the mall right now and I don't want to go but I want candles. I'll warn you I'm probably not going to vlog at all in there. I have a feeling I'm going to walk in, be immediately overstimulated and be having a bad time and just want to get my candles and leave as fast as possible. I thought about getting a snack while I was in there but I just, the thought of how many people are going to be in there is already overwhelming and I don't want to deal. I'm gonna go grab my candles and I will talk to you in a little bit. I have once again spent way too long at the mall because I walked into one of the stores and started yapping my friend's ear off. Every time I'm at the mall I pass by the store she works at just to see if she so happens to be there and every single time she is. I've never gone and she's not working that day. And I am a yapper and I yap her ear off and she never tells me to shut the fuck up, which is surprising, but I appreciate. It is about 5 p.m. and I have not eaten at all today, which is not good, like that's a problem. So what is the answer? Get an iced coffee. <coughs> so I'm gonna go over to Duncan. Can you not walk in front of me and like not look? I almost hit you. I'm gonna go to Duncan. I also really need to stop by the bank and see if the ATM is working yet. I swear their ATM has been out of commission for like a month. And I know I need to eat food, but I just, I'm... See, this is part of like my mental health being in the garbage and why I think I might be getting depressed again is because I don't want to eat anything. I know I have to to survive, but the idea of eating sounds so annoying. I don't want to do it. I don't have an appetite. Nothing sounds good. And that is not at all in line with my typical big backish behavior. So when I feel like this and I just don't want to eat anything at all, that's usually because I am either depressed or getting sick. I don't know why I would be depressed. I, I haven't gone through any particularly triggering life events. Daylight savings hasn't hit, so it can't be like seasonal depression. It's still sunny out. I don't know. My brain is just not doing the thing that the brain is supposed to do. I could have gone that way, damn it. Skirt, skirt. Hey, dipshit. I'm merging, you asshole. You stupid fuck. I don't remember what I was talking about anymore. I need a snack. Hi, okay, so I made it back home and I have my iced coffee, but I have not gotten a snack. Every single place I drove by or could think of, I was like, no, I do not want that at all. And like, I can't just force myself to eat something that I know that I don't want because my body will not eat it. I will spit it out. Like, I can't force it down. I've tried, unsuccessful every time. So that's not going well. I need to figure out a snack. And like, I have so much I wanted to do today, like cleaning my house and stuff. And I can't do anything on an empty stomach. Like I'm not gonna be able to focus at all, but I want nothing. Like this is really annoying. I found something kind of acceptable that I can cook and I need to hurry up and cook it before I get grossed out by it and I don't want it anymore. I don't know if that happens to anybody else, but when I'm feeling like this and I'm having such a hard time, like trying to find anything that I want to eat, if I don't make the thing fast enough, I will be disgusted again and then I don't want it anymore and then I'm right back where I started. I am God's mistake. I guess this could be considered like a mini episode of cooking with the ancestors, but I don't want to show you my stove because it's disgusting. That's one of the things that I wanted to clean today, but I know I'm not going to be able to focus on cleaning if I'm hungry, even though I have no appetite. This is stupid. Why am I like this? I kind of took a few bites out of it already, but this is what I have decided to go with for dinner. I know that serving of rice is like unbelievably massive. I don't think I'm gonna finish it. I just used whatever leftover rice was already in the fridge and it just so happened to be more than I was prepared for. Oh my God, now I'm sweating. The lighting in my kitchen is so shitty, dear God. I promise the lighting won't be this bad this entire vlog. It's just the kitchen. The only light in here is behind me. 
Oh no, I'm sorry, excuse me. There's another light also behind me. It's just stupid in here. No, it's not. I take that back. I actually really love my kitchen. It's my favorite part of the house and it's good for everything except vlogging. I'm gonna put my coffee in the freezer. Why the freezer? Because I want it to stay extra cold until I get back to it. Can you stop doing your siren so loud? My God. I am both overstimulated and underfed. This is a bad combination. And I just know the audio is gonna sound like shit because I'm not using my microphones and that's gonna piss me off later. There's a gnat or something around here driving me fucking crazy. This is my cuppy full of liquid IV because I have not been drinking enough water and I am getting concerned about my hydration. It is time to go upstairs. I wanna know is how did this hair just not go back? I don't know, that was weird. The way I am fighting off taking a nap right now is crazy. So with like struggling with your mental health, right, comes the uh, physical manifestation of what your mental health looks like. In other words, my room's a fucking mess and it's been a mess for a while and I've been avoiding dealing with it because it just feels too overwhelming. But then I avoid it and then it gets to be an even bigger mess and then it feels more overwhelming and it's like a vicious never ending cycle. So I need to deal with that. I, I really need to wash my bedding. I like really bad, oh my God. So I think I'm gonna start washing the bedding. I'm gonna sort the laundry. I know I need to work on my bathroom that really needs to get cleaned. I may or may not do the kitchen today. I'm not quite sure, but I know I definitely wanna do my bedding and start the laundry and also the bathroom, at least putting stuff away. and welcome to my garage. I really hope you stay there and you don't fall down. I thought that we could have a little chat about the um, approach to cleaning that I think I want to take today. So there is someone on YouTube I watch who said that she saw something on TikTok of some girl who plays this little game with herself called Beat the Sheets. And it's basically like, how much cleaning can you get done in the time it takes to wash and dry your bed sheets? And my therapist just told me the other day, when you have the neuro spicy, you often have to play little games like that with yourself. So I want to see if that is effective for me. I often have like such a hard time. Why does my hair look like that? I'm taking it down, it looks dumb. Now it's chaotic, but better chaotic than stupid. It's still stupid, I'm cursed. Whatever, I wanna see if that's effective for me because I often struggle with like staying on task. So I'm gonna see if that works for me. I'm gonna set my timer for an hour and a half. The washing machine said an hour, but that's not always accurate. So let's see what I can get done in an hour and a half. But first, do you wanna see what I got a bath and body? What the fuck? Oh, hell no, man, what the fuck? I kinda can't believe that just happened. Anyway, so I have the app and in the app there was a coupon. This is not treats. Oh my God, having a German Shepherd is not for the faint of heart. I love them so much. Okay, so I got some wallflowers because I have the app and they were like $4 today. I got two sweet cinnamon pumpkin. The ones I got matching, or not matching, but the ones I got two of, I'm gonna keep them downstairs because it's a bigger space down here. And German Shepherds are just stinky. I don't know why, but like the second we bathe them, they're stinky the next day. They, it's the big fat one. He's stinky the next day. Usually the little round one is fine, but the big white dog is a purebred and he's more stinky than the other one. And like, we do our best to try to mitigate it. Like I try to keep his bedding clean and we get him regular baths and we spray him with puppy stuff. He still stinks. You're disgusting. I love you. It's still 97 degrees up in this bitch, but I don't care. I'm getting all the pumpkin scents. So I got that one. And then I also got white pumpkin. And then these I'm gonna put upstairs. I think I'm gonna do one in my office and one in my bathroom. If I even have enough plugins, I don't even know if I have enough. Whatever, anyway, this one is cinnamon stick and this one is champagne toast. I swear, I have like champagne toast scented literally everything. I got an extra wall plug-in for upstairs because again, I don't know if I have enough of these. I think I wanna put champagne toast in my bathroom. 
Cause like most of the time it smells fine and then randomly out of nowhere, it will smell weird. And it goes away, comes back, goes away, comes back, goes away, comes back. I don't know why. Champagne toast for the bathroom. And then I'll plug in the other ones later after I show you the candles I bought. I also got this candle for my office, Sunrise Woods. I had never seen this scent before, but I smelled it and it smelled really good. And it was $16.95 and I had a reward for something up to $16.95. And I burn candles like there's nobody's business. I got three burning right now. And then I got big candles. These are also for downstairs, um, mostly for when I have people coming for tattoos. I got this one, Autumn Chai. Pink lavender and espresso. These big ones are for when I have tattoo clients coming or I'm having a dinner party or my mom's coming over or whatever. Big candles. I did not have a single candle left to burn. So this was kind of an emergency, but you know what? I worked it out and I took care of it and I feel better now. Okay, now let's go clean. I am going to show you what I am working with. It's pretty gross in here. This is the result of going through a traumatic experience and feeling like everything is too overwhelming so you just avoid it. I know it's gross, don't judge me. I'm cleaning it now. Ugh. Brother, ugh. What's that? What's that, brother? Wish me luck. So glad I put ice in my liquid IV. I don't know why I'm sweating from cleaning a bathroom. That's very weird. I think right now I am going to work on sorting the laundry because um, when I go down to move the bed sheets over, I would like to put in another load. I also just remembered that I told myself I was gonna hit the gym today. I don't know if that's still gonna happen because I do have a lot to do here at home. Or maybe I'm just saying that to get out of going to the gym because I don't want to go. It's about 9 p.m. right now. I usually like to go to the gym around 9 or 10. I used to go at like 1 and 2 a.m. and then my sleep schedule changed and now I go to bed at 2 a.m. I don't know. If it's not busy right now, I might just go after I move the bedding from the washer to the dryer. If it is busy and it's still busy at 10, I'm not going. Damn it, it's not busy. I did not want to go for literally no reason other than I don't want to. I don't have an aversion to working out. I know I'm gonna feel good after I do it. I just do not want to go. I have no idea why. But I mean, that is what I said this vlog was about. It's about self-care being the things that you know that you should do that you don't wanna do, but you do them anyway because like you know that they're good for you. Being a responsible adult is so ghetto. Okay, new plan. Sort the laundry, move the bedding to the dryer, put a new load in the washer, go to the gym. I know the dopamine will feel good, but... <sighs> Just kidding, I can't go to the gym right now anyway because my phone is on 8%. So that puts a wrench in my plans. I think what I will do is do the laundry anyway, but instead of go to the gym, I might just sit down and read. Actually, you know what I really need to do is journal. I think I'll journal. And then once my phone charges, then I will go to the gym. No, I can't journal because my office is dirty. Okay. I'm gonna switch the laundry around and then I'm gonna clean my office. And if there is time after I clean my office, then I will journal and then hit the gym. 
which is probably a smart order to do things because I have a feeling I'm going to be emotional after journaling and I'm going to need to get some energy out. I mean, that's my hypothesis. I don't actually know. But who cares? It's not important right now. Let's go do laundry. I remembered my tripod this time only for the lighting to also suck in here. So that's cool. I cannot wait for it to get cold. I hate coming into the garage to do laundry and it's like a thousand degrees in here. It is not a good time and I do not like it. Can I put this in the dryer? I don't even know. I did not read the instructions. There are none. Okay, into the dryer with you. This is so wild. All these flashing buttons are not flashing in real life. myself to the gym but first I need to put water in my big water bottle because I literally will not go without my special cuppy a couple days ago I couldn't find the straw for my cuppy anywhere I had a fit like borderline meltdown like I was preparing to take my gym clothes off go upstairs lay down and cry and like I know it's not that serious but it is and I know for a fact that is not a normal reaction to have to not being able to find a straw, but that really felt like the end of the world. In the moment, this is how it felt. If I do not find my straw to my cuppy, I am going to remain panicked for the rest of my life. Nothing was gonna be okay until I found the straw. That's not normal. And that is why I'm glad I'm seeing a psychiatrist this week. So maybe they can tell me what's wrong with me. <laughs> You're so cute. I'm not excited. Let's go to the gym. home from being at someone's birthday dinner don't mind my lipstick i know it's messed up but i was eating and i'm just at home so i really don't care right now i am taking out the clean laundry from the dryer from yesterday and i'm putting in a new load right now and i just spilled scent beads everywhere so that's nice the way that i am why am i like that anyway i think after i take out this laundry i am going to work on cleaning my kitchen yeah i think i want to work on cleaning my kitchen next it's not particularly bad it's just a little untidy the counters need to be wiped down really it's the stove that needs to be cleaned like that's probably the worst of it today is my last non-busy day for the next few days i don't think i have any downtime until like thursday so i am trying to get as much as i can done today i will go to to the gym tonight i have every intention of going to the gym i'm a little disappointed though because i wanted to start going to the gym like three times a week i wanted to start going saturday sunday monday however the problem with that is that tomorrow monday i have a thousand things to do i need to go to therapy not long after therapy i need to go down and have my fingerprinting done and then not long after that I have a consultation for a tattoo. And I think at that point, after having like run around all day, I'll probably be too exhausted to go to the gym. Plus like everyone is at the gym on Mondays and I don't really wanna deal with that. That's why I go on Saturday, Sundays because there's less people. So I don't know, maybe I'll find like a sudden burst of energy and inspiration to go tomorrow. But I'm definitely going tonight. I think I might do arms and back tonight. Last night was legs, if you couldn't tell. I miss having like big, huge, powerful thighs. I'm trying to get back to that, but I don't know. I think it's gonna take a while. I don't mean like it's gonna take me two years like it did the first time, but you know, I'm a minute. It'll take a minute. This is the state of my kitchen right now. It's not really like bad. It's just untidy. There is stuff like everywhere. Can I help you, sir? <laughs> Why do you look like that? Can I do something for you? You are so cute. 
before i start cleaning i am going to get comfy i've had this makeup on for like maybe three hours and i'm already over it i'm sick of it get it off me okay but before i take off all of it my eyeliner came out so good today i hate to see it go but damn did it look good i really did not try that hard with my makeup today because i knew where we were going was going to be very dimly lit so i was like honestly whatever i will like fully cleanse my face later when i get home from the gym for now I just wanted the makeup off. Also, my hair is like super curly today and I don't know why. Not a complaint, just an observation. I'm gonna find some shorts and a big shirt and then we'll go clean. Okay, that's as good as that's getting. I really, I just don't want to do the dishes right now, so I'm gonna leave them for later. I just remembered I have a work email that I was supposed to deal with like four days ago and I didn't do it, so I need to go do that right now. So fun thing that happened at the birthday dinner. Uh, so I have this friend and this friend is a mega extrovert and for whatever reason, just has a lot of introvert friends. I was one of them. By the way, if this starts getting like really shaky, I am so sorry. This desk is so unsteady and I really need to get a new one. Anyway, it just so happens that one of these introvert friends does pet sitting, which is a service I am in desperate need of. I used to just have my sister do it because she was like post-grad unemployed, but now she's got a job and she can't watch my puppies anymore. And then my other sister got all them kids. So it's just gonna be easier for everybody if I get Get a proper pet sitter and like i thought about getting them like put up in a nice boarding place but for my two dogs it was going to be like 500 dollars for a weekend which was more than i was prepared to pay at the time but now that i met this girl i told her i was like oh yeah no i'll call you and she was like okay like i'll give you the friends and family discount and i don't know what her normal rate is or what the discount is but it got to be less than 500 dollars for a weekend so hopefully that works out for me okay this work email is pissing me off let, okay let me tell you what happened so i got temporarily laid off from the job with the nurses just because there wasn't any work to do i didn't do anything bad there was just no nurses coming to california but now they have some that are coming so they were like hey do you want to come back to work and i was like hell yeah but because it was temporarily laid off i have to redo everything like i had to refill out an application and everything it was so stupid so this is me trying to re-log into my work email and stuff and it's talking about some contact your administrator what like girl what the administrator is the one that sent me the email like what are you talking about so i'm going to very frustratedly deal with that now okay it turns out that i'm stupid and i don't know how to read because it very clearly says your account will become active after 5 p.m central the day prior to your start date so i'm dumb i think what i'm gonna do right now is i'm just gonna sit in my big chair and i'm just gonna chill for a little bit i had to go out and people today and that has just sucked the life out of me like i do want to go to the gym but i am so tired maybe i'll read a little bit i don't know speaking of reading i just read the exorcist the other day and like it was entertaining but i did not think it was scary I was trying to try a new genre because literally all of my books are either science or history books. They are either about Bible history, weird science things, or 19th century medicine, which is fine by me. I love reading about that stuff. But like, I don't know, I just wanted to try something different. So I decided, okay, let me try horror. So I bought The Exorcist. I think it's just because like, I'm having a hyperfixation on demonology right now. I had just read um, The Demonologist about Ed and Lorraine Warren, which if you ask me, that whole book was full of shit. And then I read The Exorcist. I have a book on my bookshelf right now that I still need to read called Demonic Foes. And I have like this enormous pandemonium book. And like, I told my extremely religious sibling about it and she was all like, huh, because of course she was. And then I was like, people study theology all the time. Why is it weird if I want to study demonology? And she was like, you know what, fair point. You know what book I did not like and I kind of thought it was bullshit was this one. 101 Essays to Change the Way You Think. I bought it because I there's someone I like to watch on YouTube and she got it and she said it was good. So I was like, okay, I'll try it. So I bought it and I was like, yeah, I'll try it out. And then I got really frustrated because it felt like in almost back-to-back -back chapters, 
like okay and I had been feeling this way for a while that like a lot of the book was contradicting what it was saying in other chapters but I was like I don't know maybe I'm insane let me just keep reading and then in almost back-to-back -back chapters it said how passion is important next chapter passion is bullshit and that's when I got fed up I was like you know what fuck this I can't even pretend that I am enjoying this anymore and that's the only book I haven't finished I even finished The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck and that book sucked like I mean the author made some good points and there were definitely some things in there that I felt like were of value or like would make good journal prompts or whatever but a lot of it was like oh this one time my girlfriend cheated on me and I've slept with so many women and blah, 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 blah. like it felt super obvious that it was written by a straight white man so like yes it had some stuff of value in it but it icked me out so bad like I would not reread it I do want to do a book vlog at the end of the year with like how many books I've read this year but don't get too excited it's not going to be that many like it'll probably be less than 20. I'm not one of those crazy people that's like I've read 400 books this year like that's not me but I do like to read and I feel like the books that I read are really interesting at least to me I think they're interesting or else why would I read them and I think it's going to be really cool and it's going to be really fun and then I get to share something that I love with other people Oh lord, here he comes. Hi, bear. Hi. Hi. He just had a birthday. Are you a little birthday dog? Okay. Hello. Sir. Sir. Oh. That was nasty. Okay, my phone is literally dying, so I will make this brief. It is just a little bit after 10 p.m. right now. I wanted to sit and wait it out and kind of see how I was feeling to see if I still wanted to go to the gym. And I feel like my body is begging me like, please just take it easy, stay home. And I am going to listen. I usually don't listen to those feelings. I'm like, whatever, I'm just being lazy. And then I go overwork myself and I feel awful. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. So I am gonna do my skincare, finish up the laundry. I do wanna do some stretching though. If I'm not gonna like go lift weights, I do wanna stretch because my back hurts a lot of the time. And I think if I'm still awake, I'll probably just read or I'll start editing this vlog or both I don't know yet I feel like shit it started really late last night and now I know why my body was like please don't go to the gym I feel like I have some kind of like post nasal drip or something like way in the back and I don't want to do anything but go back to bed but I can't go back to bed because I have three appointments it's gonna be a day Hi, so it is about 5 p.m. right now and I still feel like shit. My post nasal drip is slowly just turning into regular nasal drip and my nose will not stop running. I just finished up my tattoo consultation and that went well. I'm actually very um excited to do those tattoos. So the people that came to me for the consultation were clients of my mentors, but she has since moved away. If you hear a weird noise in the background, that's my electric kettle. Anyway, they decided they wanted to start coming to me to get tattoos and I feel very grateful for that and very honored that they trust me with their skin and like to execute their visions. Like, I don't know, I feel like there's so many tattoo artists in the world. Like when somebody wants to get a tattoo from me, it feels very special. I don't have too much else to do for the rest of the day. I know I have some new patient paperwork. I might have a couple emails to address, but outside of that, I'm pretty much done. I just want to drink tea and read my book and try not to die. that paperwork was going to take me literally forever there was no way in hell I was gonna finish it all today I did address the other email that I needed to it was like some new patient paperwork for a doctor I'm supposed to be seeing this week so I did get that done that is all that I'm doing I really think I'm coming down with something if you can't like hear it I feel really congested my nose has been running all day long and now at 10 30 p.m and this is a new development I am ice cold like I'm used to being a little bit chilly in the evenings because I do keep my house pretty cold, but not this level of cold. Like this is abnormal. So that's great. Love that for me. Also, my wrist hurts really bad and I don't know why because I didn't do anything to it. 
I'm gonna just go ahead and end the vlog here because I do not think I'm gonna have any energy to vlog for the rest of the week. Like, I'm really, I can feel something coming. I can feel it in my teeth, which I know sounds insane, but like, I have the same symptoms every single time that I get sick. And a couple days before it gets really bad, I feel it in my skin and in my teeth. Like, my skin becomes so sensitive, even just brushing up against it is painful. Normally, if my hands are really cold, I'll put them up against, like, my face or my neck where it's warm and it feels good. If I put my cold hand on my neck right now, it is painful. My teeth are extra sensitive and, like, they feel almost tingly. That is a telltale sign that I am coming down with something and that I'm getting sick. Also, side note, if you don't already, stream Telltale. They're a really good band. So, I'ma just call it right here. I wanted to do more stuff and, like, make this a more involved vlog but that just nope that is just not what the universe had in store for me this week so that is all for me for now i hope you have a great rest of your day remember to be kind to yourself today don't get sick like me and i'll see you later bye